Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to remove the iOS 15 beta from your devices. Now, of course, once a beta gets released, of course, one of the major releases like iOS 15, a lot of people want to install it and of course, try out the new features. It's very exciting, of course, to get all the new features ahead of everyone. But of course, now the time has come to install the public, the final version of iOS 15 on our devices. So in this video, I will show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to remove the beta and get the final version of iOS 15 on your device. Now, before we get into that, make sure to smash the like button of this video. That will help out a lot. So of course, I would really appreciate it if you could take the time to smash that like button. The process to moving from beta to the public version of iOS 15 will be very simple. You don't need to do much things. And of course, you don't need a computer to do that. All you need is your iPhone. Now, iOS 15 will most likely be released on its GM version this week. Probably tomorrow or Wednesday, we should see the GM version of iOS 15 going out, of course, to the devs and, of course, to the public beta testers. Now, once you have that software installed on your device, once you have the GM, that means that that will be the same, basically the same build as the final version of iOS 15. So if you install that on your device, you won't get an update when iOS 15 gets released to the public. Now, what I suggest you do, just go ahead and go to your settings. And from here to remove the beta, all you need to do is go to general and then go ahead and scroll down to VPN and device management. Now, right here, you will find your beta profile. You go right there and you will have the option here to remove the profile. Now, if you remove it right now without installing the GM version of iOS 15, then you will get, of course, the iOS 15 final version once it gets released to the public, which will probably happen next week. I'll expect it to happen on September 15th. Now, that day, you will get an update for iOS 15 simply by removing the profile. Tap right here, enter your passcode, and once you have entered the passcode, all you have to do is just tap on remove and then go ahead and reboot your device. Now, once you have done this, you're good to go and you will be able to install the iOS 15 final version. Now, even if you install the GM version, that's not a bad thing. You still have basically the same build that will be exactly the same build as the public release of iOS 15. But if you just don't want to do that, you want to go straight to the public version of iOS 15, then do this right now. Just simply go ahead and remove that profile from your device, reboot your device, and just wait for the iOS 15 to be released to the public. So that's basically it. That's how simple it is to remove the beta from your device and move on to the public version of iOS 15. Now, another thing, if you want to keep getting the betas, the later betas that will be released for iOS 15.1, then you will have to reinstall that profile. Of course, from the same place you installed it for the first time, you install the profile again and you will be able to get, of course, the betas for iOS 15.1 and so on. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is how easy you can remove the beta and move on to the final version of iOS 15. Again, if you go to the GM version, you won't get a release, basically won't get an update once iOS 15 is released to the public, even though you might have removed the profile after updating to the GM version. That's basically the, exactly the same update, so you won't get it on your device. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.